Okay, I've just shown you a few photos of this lock uh, when I very first got it. And this was given to me as a, uh, a gift by a friend of mine. Uh, and once we uh, we went to one of our lock collectors meetings, we noticed this in a, in a cabinet and didn't actually realise exactly what was going on inside this lock. So this lock is a, a permutation or periodoptic lock, which means it can change its key bitting. Uh, so once I see this, in, uh, a friend of mine, Ollie, has got this on this, had this on display, and once we realised what was inside it, we just, you know, absolutely outstanding the the beautiful, you know, mechanism that was inside. Uh, so then it, it was left with me to bring it back and restore it. So I've put gloves on, not because this is massively precious, although I've got a lot of hours in it. Uh, it's because now it's an absolute fingerprint magnet. So as soon as I touch it, it just gets smothered in ping fingerprints. And, you know, I've spent a lot of time uh, restoring this lock. So, you know, the last thing I want to do is start um, getting it covered in fingerprints. So we've got the face plate. The face plate can go back on and retained by a couple of screws in the front. Uh, but we're going to leave the face plate off so we can see how the lock physically works. So I've got to uh, give a special thank you to Ollie, who's... Um, source me some parts to get this project finished um you know i was finding it very difficult to find bits and pieces to you know to find a motivation to get this done uh, and ollie you know managed unbelievably to find me some bits which i'm so pleased with uh, and they came yesterday so it meant i could finish this off and get it back together and show you exactly how it works so um, here's the lock itself obviously absolutely beautiful now uh and it's got a brand new shackle which is absolutely lovely and if you look inside we've got this skeleton cover now on the front uh, and now you can see the levers inside so the lock is open at the moment so if i put the first key in so this key bits like this i put the key in and lock and you'll watch how the levers interact take the key out so if i put another key in now there's a different key put this big key back in and the lock won't open. So what I need to do is put this key back in, unlock it, like so, and then I can put this key in, which has got a totally different bit in, lock the lock, take this key back out, and then if I go to try the original one we had to unlock it, the key no longer works, it changes its bit in. So, and if you watch with the interaction here, you should see uh, this works. So if I take this one out and put this one in, you can see by how these, this comb interacts here, change the bit of the key. This is absolutely beautiful. A pleasure to own. Thank you so much, Ollie. And to so much the Rainer who you know who gave it to me as a gift. I really do appreciate it. It looks beautiful now. I'm very, very happy. Uh, and this will now be going on display in my cabinet in all its glory. And I just thought you'd like to see it. Cheers.